Hello and welcome. We have a special surprise for you. We are at Casa Huerta today, which is also known as the Husky Farmhouse. So we are gonna take you through our home today and just show you what we bought in Cabo San Lucas. When we moved here, we lived in another area here in El Tazal is where we're at. It's east of downtown. It's the suburbs of Cabo San Lucas. A lot of expats that live over here, a lot of families. And uh, this particular place that we're at is Valle del Sol and we found it by accident just like everybody else i think in this neighborhood found it by accident because it's up a road that's a dirt road and you're like where am i going but right smack in the middle of our community is a nice five-star restaurant called torote and so our home just kind of outlined or just what they circle that hotel yeah, it's, i guess it's around, it's around the restaurant yeah there you go so we are at the top of the hill at the very end of this community and this is phase one and they actually have phase two phase three and a couple others and seven. four is coming so uh, we got the bigger lot here so when we came it was uh originally going to be somebody else's and then anyways they ended up selling it to jay and i and we moved into this home December of last year, 2023, the first thing that went up in our house was a Christmas tree because <laughs> I needed a Christmas tree for Christmas. But anyways, so we are going to take a tour of our beautiful home. So welcome to our house. This front porch is massive and probably one of the bigger ones here in our community. Uh, but anyways, this is where we enjoy to sit and we have an amazing view of the city, of um, Sea Cortez, uh, fireworks. I mean, we just, ha we have it all over here. I think that we have the best view. Anyways, this is our front door. This is where we walk in through, but see this? Jay just wanted this, right Jay? <laughs> our gift from the from the owner of the builder. Yeah. Our infinity wall. Yep. Collapses and disappears in the evening when we're sitting here. I mean, we were gonna originally just go with this and not have the front door. That was Jay's dream, but I needed a front door because I feel like people need to come knock on our front door. But you know what happens? Everyone walks in through that front that door right there. So, <laughs> anyways, but we love uh, our infinity window there, and this is our little. Our little dog that we just got and this so we had promised the children when we were coming when we we're gonna move to the farmhouse that we were gonna get a dog well that kind of got put on the back burner but then five puppies magically <laughs> were dropped off right outside the gate of Valle del Sol and so the kids were going down there all the time so there are five puppies and she has just been an absolute she's been an amazing dog don't I mean okay so this is our our kitchen uh, our kitchen was extended just a little bit. This is a pantry, which in Mexico, we struggle with storage. We don't have a lot of storage. So we wanted storage because we have two kids and we needed to put things in, you know, all their snacks and foods and whatnot. So that's our storage. And then this is our beautiful kitchen. And this, you know, you all know we're from California. So this came from California, one of the best one of the local stores there in uh, Yuba City where we're from, or where I'm from. And then, uh, you know, just some little things to remind me of, of home. Most of this furniture that you'll see in our home was actually uh, from Guadalajara. Uh, actually, yeah, I mean, like these are from good old Yuba Duba, Ashley Furniture. <laughs> that light right there from Guadalajara. I went to the expo that they had in Guadalajara and actually found a lot of our furniture. So we chose not to do a TV down here. It's more of a sitting area where we just like to enjoy our time together as a family and enjoy the view and drink some coffee. This was a special, we saw that a few other people were doing this wall, but they were doing it in like in the white. I needed some color, so we went with that color. Uh, guest bathroom. Russell Jackson's bathroom. Yep. It's a private room in Jackson's bathroom. Yes. This is Jackson's room. 
So as you see, you know, here in Cabo, they do the closets a little differently than back in the States, but it works and they have plenty of storage in there. And, uh, you know, he just, he, he, they like music and, I don't know, it's their room. This is Jackson's room. Now we don't have much on the walls yet because there isn't a lot of um, air, places here to shop and everything that you shop or all the boutiques that are here are very pricey. So we're gonna just wait and get that stuff as, I don't know, down the road. This is Kiera's room. So Kiera has her closet, but she, we actually did, and that was, I don't even know if that was on purpose or that was on accident, but they did a little desk area for Kiera there, which worked great for her. That's where she sits and draws and sometimes her homework. For the most part, it's on the island, but she also has her own bathroom. every teenager should have and she um, scoot over uh, she just cleaned it up before she left because mom made her <laughs> but you know what teenagers are like all right and then so we added a special we our home is a little bigger than most here in our neighborhood and we added a laundry room so eventually excuse the mess but these are things that we don't need anymore and we're just kind of trying to figure it out but eventually this will be cabinetry um, you know. What about Carlos? Oh yeah, so why don't you tell people about Carlos? It's just Cactus Carlos. Our, our mascot, the Cactus, who greets us every day and puts a <laughs> smile on your face. <laughs> Sometimes freaks us out because we think it's somebody standing out there. And this is our, this is our bedroom. It's not a, a big bedroom, uh, but we're not in here unless we're sleeping, right? So we didn't need nothing big, right? We're reading, yeah, reading. Uh, we won't, I mean, it's a higher ceiling, so it makes it feel like it's a little bigger than what it is. Uh, you, and if you notice, uh, here in Mexico, they're, they're split units, most, mostly. Uh, sometimes you do find the homes that have the central heat, or central, not heat, not heat, central air, but we have split units here. And, and it works just the same. And then our closet. And our, our bathroom went a little massive. So this is, <laughs> this is our double sinks. Jay wanted his privacy over there for the office, his office. And then this is our, our massive shower. Like you can even hear the echo. It's just massive. But our intent was we were gonna make this a steam room. And then we decided not to make the steam room. And so eventually what Jay and I have talked about is putting like a little sauna right here. Like a little two seater sauna. I think would fit perfect right there because it's just such a large and then we've got our tub overlooks when it's nice and pretty and green it looks amazing back there which is probably going to happen soon rainy season got my tahoe picture it's our favorite spot Oh, this is our life science statue that my dad brought back from the philippines in the early 1970s it's a family heirloom. <laughs> we got a dishwasher, not must have dishwashers around here. All right. It's the little things. <laughs> it's the little things, y'all. Storage and dishwashers. Yes, yes, yes. Especially coming from the States. We always want our storage and a laundry room. Not a lot of people. So most, most of the homes here have their laundry room or their laundry stackables in their closet and the master. Or so. be a laundry pantry like in your kitchen. Yeah, yep. It's getting better, better, better. It's getting more Canadian and Americanized. Yeah, it, is, it really is. A lot more builders coming from that area over here. So this is um, our, our little uh, loft area, TV room. This is where we lounge and watch movies. This couch fits like 10 people. <laughs> we bought this in Guadalajara when we went to, the, or when I went to the expo. They actually hand make it. They make it your your color, your size, whatever you want. Yeah, custom made couch in whatever color you need. And and they delivered it. Gosh, what was it like? Six. Well, I wasn't in. A, we weren't in a hurry because our home wasn't getting delivered until December. So. And you when did you go? August. August. And, and then it's made in in Monterrey. It's made in Monterrey, and they actually deliver it here from, from Monterrey. And it's really excellent, excellent quality. I mean, all the pillows are down. It's set yep. with feathers. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's really good, solid wood, and 
down pillow, so high quality. And so, okay, so that's... that's Let me ask you something. Yes. Why, why did you want to buy furniture at the Expo in Guadalajara? Why didn't you just buy it here? Or why didn't you buy it in the States? Well, because um, the st if you buy it from the States, there's a massive tax that's tacked off, ta attached to, right? Yeah, like 35% yeah. tax. It's 35% to, to, import ta to import your stuff here. So what we did is, when we originally moved from California here, we brought a big U-Haul. Jay dropped it off in San Diego. And then from San Diego, they shipped it here. And so you get a one-time moving. Um, free. Free. Uh, you know, you don't, here. yeah. Here. So, but, but. It all has to be used household goods. It can't be like you go to the store and drop off like, you know, $25,000 worth of brand new furniture and get a free pass. It has to be yeah. like your, your own personal items that you have. Exactly. So, when we came here, we started we started looking around and searching. We already had had some Airbnbs, right? So we went shopping and our go-to was Ashley Furniture. That's what I know, that they had great furniture, it's reasonably priced, you just had a wait time. So depending on how fast you needed the stuff, you had weeks to wait for certain items. Um, so the Expo in Guadalajara, it's all manufacturers in Mexico, and so most people go to Guadalajara anyways to go shop. So when you go to the expo, everybody is at this expo. So you have so much to choose from. You find your favorite designers and favorite furniture and things like that. And so what happened was, I mean, you can find a carrier to bring it over here. We were blessed with a, a relative that actually has a business here in Cabo San Lucas. So he comes quite often. And so he hauled our stuff over here for a really yeah, good he price. From from Guadalajara, so we yeah. piggybacked on his freight. He didn't move it himself, but we just paid no, yeah, his freight. Yeah, on his freight. So we so just we paid a certain amount. Cheap. Yeah, with no markup. Anyways, so yeah, that's uh, and and another reason why we didn't buy things here in Cabo too. Ashley's is a go-to, but there's there's small boutiques, and most of those boutiques come from Guadalajara, but they just, I mean, the taxes and everything is just so much to run that. It's just crazy. So this is our office. Where the magic happens. This is where we're calling all y'all to come down to Cabo and check it out. But yeah, this is, so this is our office for now. We haven't really um, situated it. We don't have our shelves yet. We're just trying to figure it all out. I like to take my time when it comes to this kind of stuff because I don't want to just buy something random and then I don't like it down the road. So I, we take our time on trying to figure out what we want to do. Yes, work in progress out here as well. Jay, what are you planning out here? We're going to have, there'll be an island here. You can see there's my uh, electricity sticking up out of the ground there. I got my smoker, got some firewood. <laughs> and uh, we like to sit out here right now and we sit around this fire pit and uh, just watch the fireworks and watch the airplanes come in land and enjoy the view that we have. And we also have another constructive project that'll be a fire pit here, a gas fire pit that will be an L shape. And this is our sitting area, our large, nice outside bench. Mm -hmm. so, yep. Yeah, we've got a lot of work to do ahead of us. But as Me you can see, too. we are up here on the top. I think John, our developer, likes to say, above it all. Yeah. <laughs> Looking down on it all. Above it all, yeah. We are. I mean, we, we, we get really some great cool. views over here. And we get this nice ocean breeze. Yes, we get a nice breeze. We get a little bit of both worlds, I believe, because we have the mountains behind us. And when those are, I mean, when the rain comes, those get so green and so fast, don't you? I mean, get a couple of rainstorms and- When this goes from brown to like really dark green, it, it honestly, it's like we're living in Hawaii. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. beautiful. So we get that and we get the ocean and we get the city lights and I don't know. It's pretty great. It's pretty spectacular. This big area up top. And we have another one. Actually where they're building some fractional ownership way up there, some large homes. That was your, that's your phase three? It's your phase three you were it's talking phase about. Phase three, yep. And then we also have a large terrace back here that our son is using as a, as his play area. It's a mess. <laughs> it's but. a mess. A mess because it doesn't have shade, so they don't want to really be out there in the sun. All right, we got a lot of work going on across the street. They're putting in a pool and it looks like an outdoor kitchen, all kinds of activity out here on our side of the road. But 
it's okay. It's almost over. And then Jay, Jackson and I are going to actually head into the neighborhood to show you guys around. Uh, where are we heading first, buddy? The animals. We're going to the animals and we'll show you our little farm animals here in Valle. That breeze feels good. We're at the very top of the hill. So the animals are at the very entrance, the entrance of Valle, right across from the restaurant. Which is why the kids get to run over there with a little bucket full of fruit and veggies to give to them. What's he doing? Uh-oh, we got a goat loose. I don't have any food for you. Come here. No food. So we have goats, we have sheep, we have ponies, we have a donkey, and they're just uh, so used to us humans now that they always want food from us. And then right over here, we have bunnies, chickens, roosters. Oh, they must have just got fed. They're hot. It is hot. Oh, look at that itty bitty baby. Oh my gosh, can you see that little baby over there, the little white one? Oh, it's tiny. So cute. Yeah, these bunnies are hot. And then, oh, so here's one of the little buckets that they actually bring over across from the restaurant. There are chickens and roosters. This is where Jackson comes from time to time to get us some eggs. I'll just grab some eggs. I usually stick them up there when they're ready. Even they got duck eggs here. Oh, here's that little baby. Oh my gosh. How cute is this little baby? Buddy. Buddy Sorry. tries to bring him home from time to time. And this one's coming home forever. Anyway, so that is our, those are our animals. Okay, so this is a Torote restaurant, and this is actually a five-star restaurant. Uh, the chef lives right here on site, and he cooks some amazing food here. If you ever get the opportunity to come into the restaurant, I highly recommend it. It has got the best views, the best food, drinks. I'll show you the little garden area over here. So this is actually where JJ had my surprise birthday party. So they have all kinds of events that happen here. Uh, they do a lot of wedding events and parties and things like that. So here's that little area here. And then the restaurant is right up here. And then we'll go through the garden. So let's go first. It's all organic. Uh, they pull all their veggies and fruits from here. It's all homegrown or farm grown meat. Here's our restaurant. Uh, it's closed right now. Beautiful little water feature here. That was originally our pool, but uh, Obviously, that's not going to happen for us neighbors. We're not going to go swimming here amongst the people that are trying to eat at the restaurant. <laughs> well, here's the bar. That's where all the magic happens in there. They actually just put in that uh, pizza oven. We're yet to have their pizza. And then I'm going to take you upstairs. So this is actually what's going to be happening here in Via dos Souls. So phase one is where we're at. Here's our phase one. This up here is fractional. It's phase three. It's right above us. So here's where we live right here. And then this will be fractionals up on the hill. And then this is our phase two that they've already began and most homes are already sold. These are actually our amenities. Okay, let's go upstairs. This 
this is upstairs. So they have a bar up here, tables at night. It gets a little chilly. They turn on these fire pits. Put the cushions up. It's just beautiful. And then they have this amazing view. Oh, it looks like a ship came in. An amazing view from up top. All right, let's go down to the garden. So Jackson, tell us a little bit about the garden. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh, pineapple. Ooh, we have some pineapples. Don't take them off yet. It is off. Pineapples? What else do we have in the garden, buddy? No, but why is it orange? Lemon grass. I'm not sure. I'll have to ask the experts. Turn me in. Okay, what else we got? So this is, I guess it's not quite the community garden, but because uh, it's mainly the restaurant's garden, uh, but we get to enjoy it and come out here. Jackson will take home a couple things here and there. Ooh, the banana. We got some chilies. Yep, some peppers. We got quite a bit in here. So anyways, that's our little garden here at uh, Valle. Then we're gonna go through here. Okay, so Jackson took the camera. So right now, right when you walk through the garden, they have this cute little chapel that they created here. Um, and it's mainly for the venues. Uh, so you have the wedding venues, the parties, things like that, but mainly for the weddings and you can get married in here. So this is our, our little chapel here on site. And then this is just kind of like a court area. They actually, um, when they had our posada, they had some food laid out over here. This is the bar. And then, you know, you could use this for dancing or anything, but we're gonna go over to the other side because John's actually building a larger event center. So they don't have to close the, the restaurant down because right now someone's having an event. Mainly they close that whole, the whole restaurant down for everybody. We, nobody can use it. So now what he's thinking is they use that and then they come over here to the event center and use that instead. Tractor. That's not the coolest tractor. Man, I think my dad used to drive around in a tractor like that. Okay, so this is gonna be like a little boutique hotel that they're gonna actually make right here. And that's all part of the events and the weddings and things that they're gonna have out here. So then people don't have to leave because it's quite the road coming up here to Valle those. So it's a dirt road, it's dark. So they're gonna put little casitas around here and they're gonna have a little courtyard. Um, they're gonna have a pool, a fitness area, a steam room, a dry sauna, a cold plunge. And all of that is gonna be all the owner's um, amenities as well. So we have access to all of that. And then the people that have these events will also have access to that if they're staying at these little, like bungalows, I would say. There's individual little homes or little bedrooms. So anyways, that's that's what's coming next and on this, on this uh, dirt lot right here. Can't wait. So this here, we have bocce balls, and we have a bunch of little birdies right here. They're just little parrots. I'm not trying to share, they're just here for, for noise and just to enjoy and feed. They have a little bridge that goes over and into the restaurant there. Okay, so this is our the event center I was telling you about. So this is gonna actually be for anybody that's doing uh, wedding, bridal shower, uh, baby shower, I mean, whatever the case may be, a birthday party. They uh, will eat their dinner over at the restaurant or maybe they're doing a service where actually they're coming here to bring the food. I'm not quite sure how that's gonna work, but this is the event center. Those are gonna be bathrooms right here. 
and um, there's an extra bodega over here where they're going to have all the all the um, all the tables and chairs and things like that. So that is the event center, and then this is actually uh, they just they just made this. So it used to be offices down at the bottom here in a bodega, and just kind of extra storage. So now at the top they have all uh, the offices for the owners and staff and everybody that takes care of everything here and buy those zones. So that's. That's what they got here. That's the extra little storage area uh, for everything for the event center. So tables and chairs and there's a ramp. <laughs> and check out the pickleball court. So here's our pickleball court. So this is the pickleball court that they just put in here. Actually, I have a nice bench and a fire pit. And then that's the entrance to the actual event center over there. So these are the amenities that we have here at Valle. And he just keeps working away on more and more and more. And just making it nicer for all of us. And we just love it out here. It is just, I don't know, Jackson, do you love Valle? He does. He loves running around here and just being a kid and just doing all the fun things around here that he just loves to build and make and we enjoy it out here and we like what they're creating, like an old town. So I just wanted to show you um, out, out the front here. That is the dirt road we have to come up and it goes quite a way. So it is up here a ways, which is Amazing that they're doing the event center and the boutique hotel for people that are doing events here And uh, so this is the entrance to our lovely community I was hoping to run into some neighbors and ask them some questions, but uh, The thing about our community is that there's a lot of people that Go back to Canada or the States during this time a lot of them are retirees uh, Some of them are just part-time here uh, so six months out of the year possibly and then there's only a handful of us that are actually full-time that live here all the time there's only two families us and another younger family that's down the street um, but yeah so it's it's very very quiet I mean unless people are working and doing things because we still have some building going on but other than that we are quiet around here this is Juve Juve Juve, aquí seguridad y almacenista de Valle del Sol. Un lugar muy bonito. Me encanta trabajar aquí porque estoy con la naturaleza, con el ruido de los pájaros y una vista maravillosa y una gente maravillosa y amable. Jovencitos que viven aquí en este lugar, muy activos también, deportistas en su bicicleta y cuidan mucho a los animales, a los, a los perritos. Y estoy muy feliz aquí, yo tengo aquí desde el 86 en Cabo San Lucas y es el mejor empleo que he tenido en mi vida. Tengo un buen patrón, una buena patrona, soy feliz, no le pido más a la vida. Una bonita familia por 35 años casado con mi esposa. ¡Wow! ¿Ah? ¡Gracias, Uwe! Okay, everyone, this is Blanca, Blanca. and Blanca is who? In español or English? Dime. ¿Quién soy yo? ¿Quién, quién eres? Soy yo, pues, la esposa de John Buckley. <laughs> <laughs> y socia de, de este proyecto. ¿Y qué, qué, qué están haciendo? Bueno, mucho trabajo. Mucho trabajo. Ahorita vamos a ver una alberca que se está acabando. Terminando. Uh -huh. Entonces, yo veo los pequeños detalles, los finishings y todo lo que envuelve ese, ese tema. Blanca is awesome. We love Blanca. Gracias. <laughs> so that's John. He's in a hurry, but John is the one that has created this this whole Valle del Sol here. He had the vision, and he has uh, created this. But he's got a he's got to run. He's always running. But you know what? We're gonna go up to this office and check out where their new office is and what they have going on up here. So let's do that. All right. So I'm up in their new offices here. This is where the magic happens. Hello. And who are you missing? I'm Monica. I do the administration and I do the payments. Ooh, she pays. She got the money. Hello, I'm Gina and I'll do 
everything about extras and upgrades. Yay! So these girls run the show here at Maya, man. They are, they got it all together. They have to deal with all of us owners complaining and <laughs> bickering. So this is their new office. Isn't that nice? This must be John's. And then they have amazing view from here. They got a nice, ooh, nice patio, nice views. All right, so this is where the magic happens. I just had to show you. Say bye, girls. Bye. Bye. All right, if you guys have any questions on our home or the home that they're building over here in phase two and four, those are going to be going, starting off price is 620 and it is a three bedroom, three bath, and you're out here in the country. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below because we want to hear what you have to say. Okay, and stop dreaming it. Start living it. Come on down. Here's the next buyer <laughs> on The Price is Right. <laughs>